Hello everyone and welcome to class of 5G deployment. Today in this class we will discuss about deployment enablers of 5G. So our topic is deployment enablers. Now the logical architecture it enables specification of interfaces and protocols. So if we talk about the 5G logical architecture. So this logical architecture it enables like specifications of interfaces and interfaces and protocols. So if we talk about the next which is functional architecture. So we know that we are having two types of architecture, logical and the functional. So functional architecture, it describes the integration of network function in an overall system. In an overall system. Now the arrangement of functions in a physical architecture is important for practical deployment. So what that there should be there should be arrangement of functions in a physical architecture. arrangement of all the functions functions in a physical architecture this thing is important for practical deployment that all the functions could be arranged in a physical architecture so we have various network functions. So network functions are mapped on physical nodes. All the network functions are mapped on physical nodes. So this mapping is trying to optimize the cost and performance of the whole network. Optimize cost and performance of whole network. That means if you map all the network function on a physical node, they are trying to optimize the cost and performance of the complete network. So in that sense, 5G will follow the same design pre, uh, principle as that of the previous generations. Whereas in 5G, there is the introduction of NFP, that means Network Functions Virtualization and Software Defined Networking. So these functions, that means NFV and SDN concepts, will cause rethinking of imaginations because here we are having a context of the traditional protocol stack methodologies. So there could be interfaces which is directly uh, between the network functions rather than the network equipments. Like in previous generation, like there are interfaces between the network equipments. Whereas here we are having a network functions so here we can define the interfaces directly between the network functions rather than the network equipments. The interfaces between functions not necessarily have to be protocols but they could be any software interfaces. So the idea around NFV network function virtualization and software defined a network it may, uh, it may lead driven by the flexibility requirements of the core network. However, an extension of both enablers to radio access networks has been developed. So let's uh, see the architecture description that means deployment of 5G.
so i will make here functional architecture so this is functional architecture network function pool so in this functional architecture we are having a reliable service composition reliable service composition it is linked to like this i will make this is my air interface reliable service composition air interface now we are having central management entities central management central management entities and we are having radio node management radio uh, node management now this is connected to like next one is flexible network this architecture like we are having properly defined apis to access this apis like it is as per the various services and applications services and now this is my flexible network configuration and configuration and control now here we are having very first as service flow service flow management this is being connected to 5G orchestrator service flow management is connected to 5G orchestration which is functional coordination this is for functional coordination and next it is connected to 5G stn controller or various controllers so this is a flexible network configuration functional architecture now if we make here here we are having various entities radio nodes serving nodes core network entities like here you can say this is my device networks here we are having various devices suppose networks next this is my this is device network next network is access network like here we are having a dran or we are having cloud radio access networks in this access networks another one as transport networks so here in transport networks we are having data networks or data centers 
data centers and this is connected to the main unit which is internet and there is a data flow from services and applications to internet there is a proper data flow now service flow management it is connected to 5g sdn controller so this is about the entities in 5g deployment we will continue with explanation of these in our next class thank you so much